Hello. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Um, just a little uh, quickie about if you have received, maybe it's on, in your online SSA account, you are reading that um, your case has been referred back to the field office. Now, this is assuming you had a pending case, right, to prove disability, other SSI or SSD. And it says that you, uh, your case has been however they would word it, but sent back to the field office um, for a non-medical review, all right? So what does that mean? This is what it generally means, and uh, but you can't hold me to it because sometimes SSA does put out misinformation um, inadvertently, you know? Um, but generally, I find that when that happens, it means that a finding of disabled was made by the state agency um, to which the federal government SSA outsources your case for that medical workup. That's where you've been, right? Where they schedule the CE exam, they order your medical records, um, they might ask you questions about your work history, uh, and so on, so, or or new impairments. You know, um, they do all that stuff, and then when they make a decision, yeah, you're nay, it goes back to the field office. But the interesting thing is the language um, that it went back to the field office for a non-medical review. Now, if it was denied, um, I don't know what they're currently saying up on the up on the um, SSA, you know, your your files. It could be, I know it said things like a decision has been made, period. Um, I don't know that they're going to say it would go back for a non-medical review because I don't imagine it would because there's no non-medical review to be had on a case that has not been found to be disabled um, at some point. So, what does that then mean also? Okay, so let's assume that's what it is. There's a disabled finding. That's awesome. That is all that that office was tasked to do, was to find out if you are disabled. Um, and if if it was just an SSI claim, they would, they would decide if you were disabled before, um, forgive me, if it was an SSD case, uh, decide if you were disabled and if that was before your date last insured, which we all have one. If you don't have one, call the 1-800 number, 772-1213 to find out about yours. Um, if you, uh, with an SSI case that can go on, you don't have to have insured status. So there is no real deadline like that. So anyway, disability has been found um, and it wasn't after your DLI if you had only an SSD case. If you had both, it could have been after your DLI and it still has to go back for the SSA business. So what this means is regardless, when it goes back to the field office, they're gonna be doing that non-medical review to determine if you meet the non-medical requirements of either program or both if you applied for both. Non-medical requirements for social security disability um, it's a double check, really, because they did this before you filed, before they spent all the money at the state agency to work up your medical portion. But they need to determine for sure that you that your insured status is still intact as of the date of uh, that you were found to have become disabled. That is often just a, an, a, we call it an, uh, just a formality. I, it's that's probably not entirely accurate, but yeah, I mean, if you've already been checked, you would think it would have been. Um, already known. So I would like to call it a recheck, possibly. If it's SSI, it has nothing to do with date less insured because you it doesn't has no bearing. There is no insurance with SSI. It's that welfare program. So because it's the welfare program, that means it's needs based and they have to go recheck your financial condition. They did do this um, to a certain degree um, and not like a tiny degree, but they did it to a certain degree when you applied, you had to answer financial questions, right? Where you lived, how you were, you know, getting your shelter, income, countable resources, countable income, gifts, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they are going to be going through all of that. That usually entails something called a perk. And that is where they usually interview you on phone to see if you uh, meet the financial poorness factors for SSI. So SSI, the non-medical criteria is the financial. Are you poor enough? SSD, doesn't matter about your wealth. It's are you still insured at the relevant time when you are found disabled? Okay. So this is what this is what tends to be. I don't really find contrary things, although I do know that sometimes the 
language in our uh, my SSA dot my SSA accounts, I think it is, which I think you can find if you didn't know at ssa.gov forward slash my account. Um, the, the language up there, I, I don't always trust that there's accurate information coming from there. Um, but if you see that, that um, is what it should be meaning. Okay. Um, assuming no one's made any big boo-boos. All right. That would be a like typo boo-boos. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye.